If you smash that like button and subscribe in the next 10 seconds, you will be able to reaper faster. And what is up guys, it's your boy Dino here. So today's video is about rebirthing. So the amount of rebirths you can get increases the amount of gems you have and your coin multiplier. So the first thing about rebirthing is that you should probably get the rebirth tools. So after you collect enough gems, you could get that. But in order to get a lot of rebirths, you need this game, this gem enchant upgrade right here, cheap rebirths. You could get this one right here. It's, it really helps with your checkpoints and stuff. Uh, Midas Touch is really good for selling. And you also need this one that lets you increase how many pets you can equip. So just try to upgrade those and claim all the gems from the achievements. Start to get the gem chest. Whenever it respawns, that gives you gems. And now about the rebirthing part itself, you can use boosts. Like these two boosts right here. They help a lot if you're trying to rebirth. Let me just buy them right now and show you guys. Basically, hold up, let me use them as well. Basically, these are stackable and they increase your speed of rebirthing, basically. So it makes it way easier, almost... Well, it's more than two times easier. And then once you get a good tool and a good backpack, you will be able to rebirth. And you, I mean, you're gonna have to buy them, obviously, until you can until you can get them from the rebirth shop right here. So I would recommend getting the backpack first and then the pickaxe. Also, it's kind of hard if, if you're not pay to win. Otherwise, you could just buy. Oh, yeah, that's also good. If, if you're pay to win, you could buy this one. You could also buy the ski. That's a lot more, though. Is, is this scythe even better than the new tool that came out? It's not. 2,500 power, 900 speed. Oh, it is still better. But by like 250. That's sig insignificant. Like. But basically, if you're not pay to win, you could follow those tips right there. When you start out and you're back to the surface, you can mine the ores that get you better value than just the blocks. So that's really helpful because your bag, if you have a small bag, it doesn't fill up as easily. So yeah, you would just sell and then get a bigger backpack. Repeat the process a few times until you can get some permanent permanent uh, tool. Also guys, you keep your pets when you rebirth. You keep... Hold up, it says... You can keep the pets, the game passes, the enchants, and the permanent unlockables, meaning the rebirth. And any Robux items. So you don't have to worry about that, and once you have good pets, like this pet right here, it's free to play a pet, and it gives you a lot, and I mean a lot of coin multiplier. Also this one, this one's easier to get, the Seaside Dog Cat. I'm gonna go buy some bucket of shells real quick. That's one, that's two, that's three. There's only one more stock now. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That's the fastest way to rebirth. Doing quests, doing... You could also go to the Gem Genie if you need. Um, any way you can get gems, you should try to do that. Main points are the gem enchants. You really need those. And any permanent unlockables. Oh, there's a mystery egg now. Pretty cool. 
just get a secret right now. That would be cool. Anyways, guys, that was all for today's video. Good luck trying to rebirth. Dynamo.